There's something nice about being able to cut in object mode. However, there's also something about being able to tap into edit mode and just scale down an object and cut it in edit mode. So if you press Alt W, you can bring up box cutter and I'll just quickly jump into Ngon and make a cut. And we can see this cut just taking place in edit mode. Of course, we still have the ability to take a cut into a shift state in order to shift to live in order to make further modifications. So by shifting to live, we can actually go in edit mode, grab a specific edge, bevel it how we want, and then click on the apply button to smart apply and jump back into edit mode where we can continue working on this shape in the most destructive fashion. But keep in mind that anytime you're working in edit mode, you're still able to um, perform shift to live in order to make adjustments and get the shape looking exactly the way you want. Like for example, let's say that this shape isn't exactly what I would want. So first thing I would need to do is probably tap in object mode, apply to bevel, go back into edit mode, and we'll just press control X in order to just draw a make box by just quick switching it. And we'll just grab this face, turn it into a bit more of an inset, pull this piece in in order to be caught by the auto smooth angle. And while we're in edit mode, we can just click on the apply to just quick apply this back to this mesh. And since it's fairly simplistic, we can just mark those using hard ops and just continue working. But even in edit mode, we support all cutters now. So that means that in addition to being able to cut and slice and use knife box, you're also able to do things like use extraction. So to show that in action, we'll just mark that to make it a little sharp. We'll just draw a box around this, but we'll press Y to switch to extract. And by extracting this in edit mode, we now are able to replicate this wherever we need. So maybe I want a taller piece that's right here. So we'll draw this, but I will, while left clicking, also right click to just pause this shape in live. And we can press shift tilde to rotate inside. You can also press shift R, which will also rotate inside just in case you're an international user. Uh, you can press G and move it around, position exactly where you want. And keep in mind, we are still in edit mode. We can just drag this down and just cut this all the way through as deep as we want. And in addition to that, we could still draw a box around this, realize that maybe we don't want this piece, or maybe we do. We'll bring it here and just take advantage of the randomness of not being completely aware of what cutter we were in. And we'll just make one more. And we'll just switch back to box, draw this shape, extrude down, press Y, make an extraction, but this time we'll switch to object mode. And the reason I switched to object mode is for one, I can hold shift and click, or I can shift click sharpen to roll down the smoothness to get this looking exactly as I want. But also to point out that once you're in object mode, you no longer have the ability to access your custom cutters. Um, your, your modes are different between object and edit mode. And as a result, if you're in box and object mode, you can be in a different mode inside of edit mode. So we'll just switch this back over to custom cutter where it's already populated with our extraction from edit mode. And we can just begin drawing this piece over here to just begin rapidly prop populating this area with Greeble and maybe just a few more smaller micro cuts of just that area that we take in. And now hopefully you get the idea, but now you can use any of the modes that you used in object mode as well in edit mode.